In this procedural update, we join Dr. Daron Scher, orthopaedic surgeon specialising in knee and shoulder surgery. If a patient has a large effusion, there can be many reasons for it. It may be traumatic and filled with blood, or they may have some form of arthritis which has created the effusion for them. We typically only drain effusions if they're very large, and I find the easiest way to do it is with the patient supine entering into the suprapatellar pouch. You can aspirate with the knee flexed, but I find that more difficult. So as with all um, injection and aspiration techniques, the knee must be prepared, and so you uh, paint your betadine on, you wait for it to dry, you get your needle ready. I like to use a three-way stopcock uh, when I'm doing this with a fluid catching pouch underneath so that I don't have to withdraw the needle or disconnect my needle. If you don't have one of these, it's not really a problem. You can simply disconnect the needle, empty the fluid out and then reconnect the needle. But even with a 20 mil syringe, you're probably going to do this at least four or five times because you should be getting 100 to 150 mils of fluid out of the knee with a large effusion and that will make the patient feel a lot better. Don't forget to have your sterile jar immediately available and you probably want to send some of that to microbiology and some for histopathology if you're not certain of the diagnosis. So having created your sterile field, what you do is feel where the patella is, feel where the suprapatellar pouch is and where you want to enter you want your needle to go straight in basically underneath the patella where the fluid is separating the patella off from the femoral condyle. A nice large wide bore needle or even a 16 gauge cannula is very useful and what you do is you warn the patient that there's going to be a sharp sting. If you're worried about the patient's pain level you can inject a small amount of lignocaine into the skin or use a freezing spray. You then insert your needle and aspirate and you should see fluid travel easily back into the syringe. You can then change the angle of the stopcock to pour the fluid down into your catch and then return again and aspirate again or as I said previously if you don't have that just leave your needle in place, inject with your syringe and then reattach your needle there. But with a large effusion don't settle for 20 mils, try and get 100 mils or so out of the knee. You've been watching another Medical Observer procedural update. Medical Observer brings life to medicine.